All right, welcome back. Um, I'll be starting a new series here um, in AGUD's uh, Civil War II. Uh, this time I'll be playing the Union. Um, if you're a, a new player or you're just starting out, I recommend starting off with my two, some of the tutorial series um, before viewing this. Um, if you want to, you know, basically learn some of the more specific uh, technical aspects of the game, um, as this PBM YouTube will basically focus on what I'm doing and general strategy, but not um, the exact game mechanics. Um, we're playing the early April um, 1861 um, start. Uh, I think it's um, Kentucky, basically, I forget his exact screen name um, in the HEAD community. Now, we do have uh, two house rules. One is um, you can only use riverine transport for basically uh, internal uh, transfer of troop movement not to attack or to move into an enemy region um, and then basically no deep rating deep deep rating unless it's with uh, three to four units um, and, the, and the leader so um, there's really not a whole lot to do on the first turn uh, what i have done is um, for basically all the forts and places i pulled out the infantry and um, non-coastal batteries uh, from the forts so they'll start building uh, entrenchments outside other than in Fort Pickens and Fort Monroe. Um, I've done all the recruit recruiting possible um, of the units that were available, um, which is just a few militia, a battery, and then one brigade uh, in New York. Um, and then I've used all of my um, development decision modes, excuse me, that offer um, increasing of um, loyalty, um, except for I think I might have, um, yeah, I have one telegraph line left, so uh, it's pretty civilized. Um, yeah, so I'll drop that into, um, into Lexington. Basically, we don't have any money left or conscripts that have um, fully been used. I am um, going to go ahead and declare the blockade, but I uh, will... Should I issue the war bonds now? Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. That way. We'll go ahead and have the money ready for uh, for the next turn. Um, okay, so Kentucky's orders are already in here. Of course, he's obviously playing um, the South. So we'll go ahead and run the turn and uh, see what happens. Okay, so as is it, as probably um, you would expect, um, Fort uh, Sumter has um, has fallen. Um, in addition, we saw some of the um, Union, some of the Confederate troops, excuse me, go away, um, headed headed um, somewhere else. Didn't there were no there was no other movement other than that. So um, let's kind of go through here and see if there are any. Any interesting uh, messages? So of course I'm building the telegraph lines. Um, Confederacy has sold um, cotton. Um, they of course have captured Fort Sumter and Norfolk. Um, fortifications have started in the capitals. No core before 1862. Um, plus one national morale for Lincoln's first inaugural address. Um, and then um, plus one for National Morale for Fort Sumter being bombarded. If Lincoln's call to volunteers, so that gives us 13 volunteer brigades uh, throughout the states. Um, we now have a blockade which was um, operating. Um, of course, there isn't was the riot um, in Maryland. Um, Wow, so they can see both prints, paper, money, and issues of war bonds right off the bat. So that's interesting. Um, okay. Um, Virginia has now seceded from the Union. We now have um, we now have our generals. So it looks like the, um, the embargo and the blockade cancel each other out for foreign uh, intervention, both negative 15 and then plus 15. Um, 
Okay, and we can form uh, three armies at this time. Okay, so that's pretty much the first turn. Um, hope you guys will enjoy following along at this time from um, from the Union perspective. Um, I have played the Union before, although I haven't played the Union probably for about a year now. Um, I think as many of you know, I was playing the, the Confederacy um, in the previous uh, YouTube series. Okay, see you next time.